let's talk about user process user debugger and how we can use the user debugger uh user mode application debugger uh there are some commands like data start or dot restart uh these commands work on both vmi mode and the debugger mode and there are two scenarios to attach to a process first we can use the dot start command to start the process and uh, second uh, we can use the dot attach command to attach to a running process and there are also other commands like dot restart and dot kill which help us uh, which will help us run and uh, rerun or terminate the target user mode program uh, as the first example here we have uh, uh, we want to start a new uh, user mode application and we can use the data start command and uh, this command gets the pass of the target executable file after that uh, we can pass the parameters uh, to the uh, target process we can specify the parameters and uh, you should note that the target pass should uh, be valid in the debuggies operating system, not in the current host. So the file should be located in the target VM or in the target debug. Let's see some examples about it. I already connected to this uh, instance of uh, VMware. Uh, let's start for example a uh, calculator uh, the calculator is located at c windows uh system 32 uh calc.exe and as you can see uh we reached somewhere in the ntdl uh, and uh, once we press g uh, we will uh, end up in running the first instruction of the entry point no we are in the entry point of the module uh, but the, the difference between this command and, and how this command how this command works and uh, the difference between implementation of this command in hyper dvg uh, and other debuggers is that this command uh, doesn't use any windows uh, API or any debugging flags for starting the process so uh, the target process doesn't know that it's currently being debugged by the debugger because everything is uh, run normally and it's purely implemented in the hypervisor so uh, no windows API is used for starting uh, no windows API is used for start uh, the process in the debugging mode uh, after that, I continue running it, and we can see here that the calculator is started. Uh, let's test another executable. I copy the pass of this executable. Again, I use that start path, uh, and we reach to the entry point of uh, this process. Uh, so here we are in. And in the entry point, uh, you can see that the name of the process is hello world. Uh, let's continue running it. Now we can uh, run some commands like uh, dot restart command uh, to uh, again restart the uh, target executable. And again, we reach to the entry point of the module after that it runs normally, or we can also use the dot kill command to kill the target process.